Hey hello friends welcome back to the channel in this video we are going to make a esp32 based home automation system with lots of feature this home automation system is very easy but very useful and in this home automation system we are using access point of esp32 to host a web dashboard and from that dashboard we can monitor the real time temperature and humidity value we can toggle the relays that is we can turn on or turn off the relays and also we can set the timer for any relay and along with this we will also get a mute and unmute button for buzzer and also we will get a option to change the ssid and password of the access point of esp32 this feature is very useful in case if you want to change the ssid and password of the access point so we don't require to reupload the code we can easily change the ssid and password from the dashboard itself and apart from this dashboard we can also control the relays from the ir remote and also from the manual switch buttons Uh, this home automation system is very useful for those who live in rural area where internet connection is not available and this is the only disadvantage of this home automation system we can only control from local area network not globally uh, to make this home automation system reliable and compact here i am going to use my own designed home automation pcb this home automation pcb is very small and has lots of feature i had made dedicated video on this in which i have explained everything in detail like its features and specifications in detail uh, if you want to watch that video you will get link in the description and also in the i button here it is available so let's make this project from scratch before we move on let me tell you about a fantastic tool that has made my pcb design process so much more efficient ltm365 LTM365 is the first open electronic hardware development platform that fosters a secure and collaborative design environment. Whether you are working alone or with a team, LTM365 ensures everyone is on the same page. Key benefits of LTM365 is data management. Store all your design data securely in one place with robust version control, ensuring everyone works with the latest file. Library management. Access millions of ready to use parts with up to date supply chain data, making informed design decision easier. supply chain management integrated bom management with real time data on parts availability and pricing helps streamline your production cycles collaboration enable seamless collaboration with your team and manufacturers reducing errors and speeding up the design process and the best part is if you click my link provide in the description of this video you will not only get access to the free trial version but you can also get flat 25% off on all the license purchase So do check out the link provided in the description and now let's move ahead with our video. Uh this is code for our today's project. Uh, let me explain this code. Uh, I'm not going to explain this code in detail rather I'll explain outline of the code because this code is too big to explain and it is a uh, little bit hard to explain in detail. Uh, first of all here we included some necessary libraries. Uh, this library is used to use the Wi-Fi capabilities of ESP32 and this library is used to host the web server and this one is for ap rom to use the ap rom memory of esp32 and this is for dst sensor and this one is for ir remote uh, these are the pin mappings for the relay pin switch pins leds buzzer dst and ir pin uh, and here we define ap rom address for different functionalities like for here uh, for ssid it is 32 this is the length for uh, ap rom memory and for password length it is 64 and relay ap rom address ssid password and ap rom size which is goes up to 128 and here we define some global variable which are used in the code here we created some object uh, web server dst ir receive and ir realt uh, which is used for ir remote and here we define some variable which is used for counting the time and after that uh, these are the hexadecimal value of ir remote so put a uh, hexadecimal value of your ir remote from which you want to turn on or turn off the relay so for example if you use uh, any button for example on or button of your remote hexadecimal value here then that button will uh, toggle the relay one <coughs> similarly you can put uh, any button of the your ir remote hexadecimal value and after that here we define lots of function which are used later in the code uh, now let's come to the setup part In the setup part, first we define uh, relay pins as output. Uh, first we define uh, pin mode of the relay pin as output. Then after checking the AP ROM, we are turning on of the relay as per the uh, previous state. And here we are storing the access point SSID and password from the AP ROM memory. And after that we are hosting a web dashboard using this SSID and password uh, through access point. Here we initialize the DST sensor. 
IR remote and here we define pin mode for switch uh, pins which is input type and also here we define a uh, pin mode for LED 1, LED 2, buzzer and initial LED 1 and LED 2 buzzer are low that means they are in off state. After that this is the a simple blink pattern when our system will boot this uh, both LEDs will blink in this pattern. And here we are starting an access point using the current SSID and password which is stored in the EP ROM memory. And here we are printing on the serial monitor SSID password and the IP address from which we will connect to our uh, access point. And here we define some rules to our web server. This is a handle toggle, handle set timer, handle toggle mute and handle update AP. Uh, these routes are used in HTML code uh, when we host a web dashboard through access point. Here we started our web server and in the serial monitor we are just printing HTTP server is started. Uh, now come to the main loop. Uh, in the main loop, first we are checking the manual switch buttons. If any button is pressed or not. If any button is pressed, then accordingly we are toggling the relays. And also we are storing the state of the relay in the AP ROM memory. Here we are updating the relay state in EPROM memory. And second we are checking IR remote input. If there is any button pressed in the IR button or not. If any button is pressed then accordingly we are toggling the relay and storing the uh, current state of the relay in EPROM memory using this function which is update relay EPROM. And next we are checking the timer. If uh, timer is completed or not, if timer is completed we are turning that particular relay and updating that relay state in the EPROM memory and we are making timer active function as false to turn off the relay and here uh, the fourth one is LED buzzer behavior uh, if timer is running we are activating the buzzer if timer is stopped we are deactivating the buzzer and this LED will blink in uh, different pattern and here we are handling the incoming HTTP request using this server.handle client function uh, if any button is pressed in the web dashboard then accordingly we are toggling the relay and storing that relay state in EP ROM memory. So this function is handle that incoming HTTP request. After that this is the update relay EP ROM. This function we are calling this function again again in different function. So this is the function which is responsible for storing a relay state in the EP ROM memory. And after that this is the generate HTML function. Uh, in which we are storing the humidity value, temperature value and after that we are sending that value in the web dashboard. And this is the basic HTML code for web dashboard in which all functionalities are there. Uh, let me show you where. Here we are making on or toggle button. Then this is the timer input section button. This is the code for making timer input and start button. And this one is the uh, buzzer mute and mute button and this portion is for creating a uh, setting in which we can uh, put a access point SSID and password in our web dashboard there is a section from which we can update our SSID and password of the access point so these are the HTML code for that web dashboard and this is the function handle root which serve the web dashboard. This is the handle toggle function which is responsible for button in the web dashboard. Uh, if any button is pressed on the dashboard then it is going to be turned on or turned off. This function is responsible for that. And here this function is responsible for handling the timer function. And this function is responsible for muting and unmuting of buzzer. And this one is for updating the access point SSID and password in the web dashboard. And this is the AP ROM function where we are storing the new SSID and password in the uh, AP ROM memory. This is the function where we are storing new SSID and new password. So that's all the explanation of this code. Uh, now upload this code into the ESP32 board after selecting the right board and right communication port. Once the code is uploaded, uh, first connect with the access point created by the ESP32. Uh, so let me show you how we can connect to the access point that is created by our ESP32. First I am going to show with my phone. First open Wi-Fi setting of your phone and look for Techno Live Home. This is the SSID of our access point that is created by ESP32. Click on this and give the password which we put in the code that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then click on join. 
एज सुन एज यू कनेक्ट विद दिस टेक्नो लैब होम एक्सेस पॉइंट ओपन योर क्रोम ब्राउजर और एनी ब्राउजर इन योर फोन इन योर ब्राउजर ओपन आई पी वन नाइन टू पॉइंट वन सिक्स एट पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट वन यू शुड सी अ वेब डैशबोर्ड इन विच यू कैन सी टेम्परेचर एंड ह्यूमिडिटी वैल्यू बटन फॉर टॉगलिंग द रिलेस एंड बॉक्स फॉर सेटिंग द टाइमर इन बॉटम हेयर यू शुड सी अ बजर कंट्रोल बटन यू कैन म्यूट एंड म्यूट द बजर एंड चेंज एक्सेस पॉइंट क्रेडेंशियल्स यू कैन चेंज द एक्सेस पॉइंट क्रेडेंशियल फ्रॉम दिस हेयर यू कैन गिव एनी थिंग राइट नाउट इज टेक्नो लैब होम एंड पासवर्ड इज दिस यू कैन चेंज टू एनी थिंग दैट यू वॉन्ट एंड ऑल्सो यू कैन कंट्रोल योर रिलेस फ्रॉम हेयर and also you can set timer from this uh, box just uh, send the time duration on for which you want to turn on the relay for example i am going to turn on relay uh, 1 4 10 second so enter 10 and click on this start button our relay is on for 10 seconds and this one is i'm going to turn on for 30 seconds and in between if you want to Uh, mute the buzzer just press this button buzzer will get muted and if, if you don't want to mute just press this and buzzer start beeping uh, this buzzer will continue beep until the timer is running so this is the complete story of dashboard so let's see this project in action uh, connect your appliances and manual switch buttons IR sensor and DHC sensor as per the circuit diagram and in this connection there is a AC connection so be careful while making the connections uh, here i have completed all my connections uh, these are the ac bulb which is i am using for uh, sewing demonstration and this is latching push button which is used as a manual switch button and this is IR sensor and DHC sensor so we can control from this uh, uh, web dashboard also from this manual switch button sorry this is push button and also from this ir remote uh, so let me show you everything in detail uh, this is our web dashboard uh, in which we can monitor temperature and humidity value our uh, temperature is 36.3 degrees celsius and humidity is 50.5% and also we can turn on relay on off from here and also we can set timer for uh, any uh, any relay and also this is a refresh button After doing refresh, we can see the latest value of temperature and humidity. Also, the feedback of any relay, either it is on or off. Uh, here it is a buzzer control button. Uh, if you want to mute the buzzer, you can easily mute from here. And this is the access point credential change uh, uh, field. If you want to change the access point as a ID and password, you can easily change from here. No need to re-upload the codes. Uh, simply, you can change as a ID and password from here. So let me show you everything in detail. Uh, here temperature and humidity is available and if you want to turn on the relay we can easily do it from here and if you want to set a timer for any relay uh, just we need to send time uh, in this box uh, for example i am going to turn on this relay for 20 second so type 20 and click on this start button Now this relay one is on for 20 second, and if you want to turn off this buzzer, you can mute it from here. So relay will uh, muted. If you want to unmute, just simply press here. Relay will unmuted. So you can mute and mute from this button as well. So timer is working super fine. Uh, let me show you again by uh, turning relay three for uh, 30 second. Now our relay three is on for thirty seconds. If you want, you can mute the buzzer from here. Along with this, we can also control our relays from this manual switch button and also from this IR remote. So we can simply press this button and we can control our relays. And if we refresh here it will show us the current status of our relays and along with this we can also control our whole system from this ir remote let me show you
so we can easily control our relays from this IR remote from this web dashboard and from this manual switch button and also we can monitor temperature and amplitude yeah. and also we can control from this app as well and if you want you can change the society and password of the access point from here so let me show you uh, i am doing it techno lab techno lab home and password and just click on this update access point this society and password will be updated so yeah as you can see my phone is now disconnected from the access point of the sp32 because the ssrd and password of the sp32 is updated so let me connect it again so go to wi-fi setting of your phone and look for new ssrd that is techno lab home and give the updated password and click on join uh, now it is got connected with the new ssrd that is techno lab home now open the web page again and reload this page now again you can easily control your appliances from this web page very simple and also here uh, one more thing this system has a ap rom functionality in which if there is any power cut or esp32 got reset in that case the previous state of the each relay will be restored automatically by ap rom uh, let me show you by demonstration so I'm going to reset the ESP32 and see if relays get their uh, previous state back or not. As you can see only 3 uh, LEDs are glowing that means only 3 relays are on. That is relay 2, relay 3, relay 4. I'm going to reset the ESP32. Uh, as you can see these 3 bulbs are still on that means these 3 relays get stored their uh, previous state by AP ROM. I'm going to change this state. In this case, all six uh, bulbs are glowing. That means all these six relays are on. So I'm going to reset the ESP32. As you can see, as soon as ESP32 re restart, everything was in previous state. In in this case, I'm going to turn off all the relays. All relays are turned off. And here I restarted the ESP32. As you can see, no one uh, turned on. So if you don't restore the previous state so yeah that's all in this video i hope you found this video helpful and like this home automation system if you want to contact me for any question or any queries you can contact me via this number this is my phone number and this is my email id and yes if you want to purchase this home automation pcb you can easily purchase from my website that is technolabelectronics.com this pcb is available for sale in a very discounted price and this price will increase after next one that in july the price of this pcb will increase so that's yeah like this video subscribe my channel for more such informative tutorials like this and we will meet in next video till then bye bye have a nice day